Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Fetu, Naka Nek Dai, and welcome back to the channel. Pa, 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 pa. If you're new here, please like, subscribe, and comment. We talk everyday mental health, we talk self improvement, we talk counseling. So, today's video does one of my Instagram chats with a friend of mine. Um, so, we were talking about depression and being diagnosed with depression and what other types of uh, major depression disorders so if you would like to have a chat with me about depression or if you were depressed or you're going through some difficult times in your life right now um can actually give me give me a shout out on instagram and leave a comment below i'm officially a certified depression counselor but um i don't really want to call myself that i consider myself um, a person who's there to listen to other people and have different talks um, with different people about mental health issues. So leave a comment below, hit me on Instagram at Tazidai. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please enjoy this video. Hi. Good morning. So it's just the two of us. Good it. morning. Good morning. Yeah. Are you doing? Ah, you sharp, Bruno. I'm okay. So let's establish something. Are we going with English or Sotho? Anything. Don't don't learn with Tana Sotho English. A lot of people don't Italy. know. Italy. Okay. Okay. You're the host, so you'll just. I'll just. <laughs> Yeah, and I am actually so I met at least you know, a few people in you know, like, yeah, at least there's three, at least you know, five people. How many people do you think you'll have? <laughs> I don't know, dude. Um, five, ten. <laughs> <laughs> five, ten. We'll okay. never know. <laughs> we'll just wait. We'll just wait. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so but uh, I think. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, yeah, I'm okay. How, how are you? Um, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I can't, <laughs> can't complain. All right. Yeah. So now we are waiting for people to join in, and I don't know what to say because you're the host. You're the host. You're the one who should keep the show going. Ah, uh, it was Yeah. Um, I just, I just give out to, but to give out again. I see there's Hi, six people hello. joined. Hi, Martin. <laughs> Hi. Hello. At least you are, you know. That's okay. one. Community care day. Okay. Okay. So, when are we going to start? Um, in a, in a few minutes. Let's say, let's give it yeah, like a minute or two. People to join in. So the the life is all about mental health. So yeah, he's the host. He's the host. <laughs> I'm the guest. No, no, no. I wanna more. I wanna. I wanna host. I wanna guest. Um, you invited me to this live, so you. Are yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. But I'm just saying, I wanna host. I wanna guest. Um, I got. I got. I got even like a traditional interview or something. Hey, boy, like no? <laughs> But okay. even. But they were like, uh, they were like uh, two people just having a conversation, right? All right, all right, all right. So, so yeah, I think a few people. Yeah. Are I think we should start. Okay, okay let's start. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Um, hi guys. So good to introduce her. Um, the introducer, the intro, the introducer, right now. Then Rakala, ne? All right. So Can you hear me? Yeah, I can, can you hear me? Yeah, I can. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, hi guys, Nagali Inagi Tatidai. Um, I'm a suicide survivor. Um, a clinical depression diagnosed 
patient. Mm-hmm. Um, a recently certified psychological counselor and and a photographer, as you all know. <laughs> so today's to, so so the reason behind this um, whole thing is about mental depression and mental health talk. So every week, Ritlozama by all means to at least talk to one person who has mental health condition. Um, medical condition, you know, depression, you know, depression, anxiety, um, whatever, you know, as long as long fella really ill about the, um, the mind, the, me- the mental state, or, or rather. So okay. today, can I today, can I lay, um, Paul? Hey, everyone, hey, everyone. So, Kupa introduce it to the people, then, yeah, we take it from there. Okay, so, most people know me, so I'm a 22-year-old female, it's, it's evident. <laughs> yeah, I'm a <laughs> old female, starting in so yeah. and so, and I'm also diagnosed with mental illnesses. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, that's pretty much everything about me. <laughs> So, so we so we to a quite so we to I think so we to so we to a lot of my all right, friends who right, are joining right. the video don't know so we to so I'm just putting it out there. Yeah, I'm from the okay, in so all right, mm-hmm. all right, okay, okay, yeah. right. cool, 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 cool. So okay, so like I got it. So we we talk a lot that in here, but um, in the question from it. From from my side, then I'm gonna read from the questions from other people. Then okay. we're gonna try by all means. Uh, so we're gonna try by all means. <laughs> so we're gonna try by all means. So we're even like, uh, like but what sort information as much as possible? Like for yeah, but what we're gonna try information as much as possible. Then share to share Kenya, share to share Kenya, Then okay. so so that so that. But we're gonna ease into other things, you know. All right. All right. Cool. Um. So, oh, I like, diagnosed in the depression or depressed. No, I so, diagnosed so, with mental illnesses. So they include borderline personality disorder, right. um, depression disorder, and general anxiety disorder. So I got diagnosed just recently last year. All right. This is new. To so we got, so we got diagnosed. Got three conditions. Yes. Shit. Yeah, three, three is a lot, Joe. <laughs> I know it's a lot, but here I am. Here I am. Here I am. <laughs> Thanks. Like. Yeah, here I am. Like, like I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't cope with only one type of news, so I can only imagine with three. Shit. So. Okay. Yeah. Should I go on? So, yeah. the thing about borderline personality disorder is that it's an um, umbrella. So, under that, okay. umbrella, there's yeah. depression disorder. And then there's also general anxiety disorder. So, that's why they, they coexist together. These things coexist together. So, and I also think that the longer you wait, um, the longer you wait to get treatment, the more. The yeah. the more your 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 conditions. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. The number. The, 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 you can't deal with the your, if you can't deal with your depression, then you get overly anxious, and yeah. So that's what I feel. I feel if you can't deal with one condition, then they overlap, and then mm-hmm. they come together. So that's what happened with me. So. So okay, so you you recently got diagnosed, right? Like last year or something, right? Yeah, last year. Alright, so so how 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 the longer you wait before you get diagnosed, get the more did you cope? Like how how long how long did you wait when I about diagnosed? Or how did you cover it? You actually suffering from like um a, a mental 
like depression or something i didn't know i didn't know what was wrong with me growing up Sim- symptoms growing pains i thought it was just that stage in life where it will just pass i'll be happy again yeah that's what i thought but so i spent most of my teen years really sad extremely sad but i thought that it will pass and then i went to into my adulthood but things never got <laughs> easy they got worse so yeah Adam 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 is a bitch too. Straight downhill and I got admitted and then that's when I was diagnosed. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Shit. That's deep. So I lived so many years with living with these conditions without me even knowing. So some so I'm guessing we did so did from from childhood till um, from from child so it can be like um this order it has to do with the traumatic events that you've gone through so if you suffered child, from childhood yeah in your childhood or you yeah. were in as a child you know those things they impact how your personality develops as a human being okay. so with yeah. personality disorder it has to do with how i grew up with my upbringing and that's ha- that's why i was diagnosed there's certain things that happened in my childhood that changed my thinking and mm-hmm. reality for the worst so because my personality was altered because of the traumatic events that i went through then i developed depression and then general anxiety so that's what happened right all right all right i make it actually, actually makes sense and like Okay, cuz I remember cuz I remember anecdotal therapy like some of some of the things somebody willing um my therapist I willing like you tell me everything you face right now it really like um like childhood and my experience and mm-hmm. the way like cuz now it's even crazy cuz now um yeah it goes all back to like back to um our parents like the mm-hmm. way Baba was in Gabon cuz Bona self they had like a toxic um childhood. Mm-hmm. So now the way ba go lang influence all the way ba re gholisang le rona in that way we end up we end up probably too shitty um childhood experience cuz from their side and ours to um adulthood. Yes. Right, okay. Yeah, so we um makes sense. I mean, I mean, I mean, like it actually makes sense. Like, 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 fully, 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 fully. But <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. That's what happens. So get diagnosed. That's what happened when you yeah. get is that I don't know what borderline personality is, but when I went to Google and got the correct information, it just yeah. Made- I just read the information and I was like no 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 this is me. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. I was there was something wrong with me but I didn't know what. Yeah. So those was yeah. just a me on my part because now I knew that okay here's the problem and this is how we deal with it. Okay. Yeah. So some some guessing like you, like you saw like symptoms like about you like about five symptoms to and let's on and lead the symptoms they were in or a line person and it didn't right that go go internet right or something well with being treated being oh i mean being diagnosed with a mental illness includes a, um talking to your, your psychiatrist you know just talk yeah 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 you guys just talk so obviously they ask you questions how did you grow up Like they ask you certain questions and within those questions yeah, yeah, yeah. establish if you do have borderline personality disorder and yeah depression also and general anxiety too Okay all right now okay that's true how 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 but what 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 my mail be to the cause now my final door even about to watch any limb they might be suffering from one of the conditions but was a was a thing you know so mm-hmm. let's hope we and my and my and my two the mom made so so take take me back to coffee meeting so when when you got diagnosed um 
like did, did your parents or your family members talk about depression or mental health in the illness or a, or a, or it is a shock to them or it's something about it hey no I can tell them a cause with my family it was quite different yeah um, they were involved they were involved they were very involved so they knew there was something wrong with me i also knew there was something wrong with me but they started okay. like way before the doctor did so they call me like you're so bipolar so they thought i was bipolar but i wasn't bipolar I was bipolar. <laughs> Shit, okay. so my family knew about it but i don't think they fully understand what the illness is and how yeah it, but they're very supportive but i don't think they no oh, it's like uh, i get like it like like i think i think it's the first time cool come to have like the family actually knew about uh, like they they talk about um such things cuz now so you might find out that uh, you might find out there some families that tell like nah you can you can have a mental can be depressed for example can be depressed basic one can be depressed because of whatever good reasons they want to have already good for one so there's no way a black a black child in fact can be can get um kind of get depressed you know mm-hmm. so it's actually to go in you the know, the the new the, the kafka kind of these things even though they were living though they were up by paul <laughs> well they knew, they knew. I, i don't think they knew what it actually meant for me but yeah um they were making fun of me let's just put it that way they were making fun of me Yeah. And oh, oh, so I I know I know about more now up by Paula no feel like I can't I can't think how I actually felt but obviously yeah. it's it's very painful for for the people who are supposed to be protecting you and supporting you to make fun of you in that regard. Yeah. But at least it was among the list of my worries. I just I just didn't care that much. You know? All right. I just didn't care. Yeah. Yeah. All I wanted was just being diagnosed and just knowing what was wrong with me. They stopped they stopped making fun of my my diagnosis after seeing the the negative impact it had on me because it then later affected them. So they saw that this is serious and they need to take it seriously and that's when the the making fun stopped. Oh shit. Okay. Oh cuz hey, cuz cuz I remember like I I have, I have this I have this um other friend Lynn, like she was the who was who was diagnosed I think the same time Lynn na, or something. So now probably there but um when I go about no minyan um na na la misa le sanya in fact you know. So so the guy would get even angry and sad and like oh to a point that I, um he ran away go chara the infect for some time cuz uh first of all no no support um no was at the halanga and even even though na bare and that's under like for counseling the family the family na sali da na sa bathe ne voting cuz as you all know black person do black people don't get depressed well into way too. So now he ran away he ran away from home for some time because of that and so and when I got to to so elsewhere then came back so I could say it was actually fine cover but mzal hlanya but mzal whatever you know because like like I said like I think you think like what when I go go WhatsApp yeah there's like there's always judgmental people come on like especially what what are they being what are they being hold with some my true what no So it's crazy. It's crazy after. Yeah, like it's too much, Joe. It's 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 too much and it's crazy. It's even crazier cuz now um the people were chanting about about support. I was understanding the what's at the with a halanga when it's that's more that's when it gets more um difficult to actually 
um he lwe, as, as a person lwe, you know even though what a two so but it gets trickier that way yeah. and and tougher in fact um so so difficult come on you know what makes it so difficult this yeah. is number one you don't know what's happening you don't know what's going on and the people around you yeah. also don't know what's going on so the confusion comes yeah. conflict and that's that's what most of people who are mentally ill go through is that the family doesn't know the individual doesn't know and now it's just conflict everywhere who and and up and up even like even 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 though when as a person what say what you going through and what what and what but sometimes educating our parents about this thing can be uh, it it can be a bitch let me just say that sorry to say that but it can be a bitch because now um and it can be tough because it hard and it's it tricky because now um our parents grew up to, grew up in a time whereby um well you were you were from the side there um in me in me side because um one thing i heard go um men can can get depressed and men can cry and men can do one two three one two three one two three because now they were taught or you know you're not supposed to you know you're not supposed to feel a certain way you're not supposed to feel uh behave a certain way you're not supposed to complain caro we now talking out talking who else when i come next door i i talk into the talking get to when i do when i do touring about so that's why get sometimes educating our parents about this thing can be a bitch mm. can be a bitch the bitch and click the bitch so, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um yeah. so uh, since since what so since the technology so how how has it been your journey like how how have it been your journey been since the technology well one that i'd like people to understand about is that healing is linear it's not linear so this is how it goes yeah. everyone sees it so that's how the journey has been it, it has been and a moments where i feel so happy and then i'd go through those emotional again and i feel sad but great is that i'm loving the process i've fell in love with the fact that this is my life right now and in other for me to show yeah. that i love i should continue with my therapy use everything that i learned in therapy because that's the most important thing and also take my mates that that also helps and educating people around me to understand and my conditions that makes it easier for them to understand so yeah my my journey has been great yeah it has been great i fell in love with the process it's it's not easy sometimes but i'm learning yeah. to deal with uncomfortable feelings So I think she meant on my side because prior to my my therapy I didn't know how to deal with uncomfortable feelings. So I'll just make an example. When I was overly anxious and I didn't know what to do and yeah, I, when I was going through that, I would cut myself. I used to cut myself off just to take off the pain in my chest. And pain, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My body was so out of the pain on on that on the pain that used to help. Pain, yeah. So now I stopped doing that a long time ago. I stopped moving, but it's just going to pass by. When you think it's an it's free, it's just going to pass by. So yeah, that's what I learned in therapy. So my journey has hasn't been it's been great so far. It's been great so far. So uh, I learned to embrace so, it. So um as kids again but um how we how, when you're about to cut yourself and how we cut like what like what what go, like what goes to you to what goes to your mind and like we tsa gala we tsa gala nka ka tlhologanya go. Ta 
I should. I can't. I can't hear you. I can't. I can't. Okay. I can't. So, I can't hear you. Oh, I'm anxious. It's really. I don't want. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. At that moment, I'll be really. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. So yeah. In, sitting with that emotion, I'd resort to taking <sighs> a razor and cutting myself. I used to cut myself on my thighs, but the scars aren't. I'm there anymore. So, yeah, um I used to cut myself and the reason why I did it was to focus the pain on my body instead of on my chest because at that time I didn't know how to self heal, how to self soothe. That's the correct yeah. term. I didn't know how to okay. self soothe. So, I'd resort I'd resort to cutting myself. So now I have I have healthy coping mechanisms when I when I'm overly anxious. So instead of cutting myself, I would focus on a gemstone or I would okay. I would take breathing exercises. Yeah. Or, um, there are a lot of things that I do. I'll take a long bath or I'll touch something and just focus on that item and be mindful. So that helped a lot. So as uh, so this this coping mechanism skin to the only the only leading in through therapy or a kin to the copan is on a during right like yeah get to the lady i believe into the leading in through therapy since we are therapy yes. right? yeah just, everything that i learned it wasn't me it wasn't me <laughs> <laughs> i learned everything in therapy okay i committed to therapy so I'd go to therapy every Tuesday for three months. They All call right. that type of therapy dialectical behavioral therapy. So that type of therapy helps you to stay in the present moment. And right, yeah. radical acceptance. So that type of therapy isn't the therapist and the patient talking, talking about problems. It's a ta- type of therapy where they train you to deal with uncomfortable emotions. They're like the present moment. Perspective. Yeah, yeah. They they try to have a healthy perspective on emotions. So it's one of those therapies where you sit in a group, uh, like a half circle group. <laughs> you know those alcohol anonymous groups. Yeah, like a a a. I'm a drunk. I'm an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't call ourselves. We weren't so judgmental to ourselves. So that's what yeah. also type of therapy teaches you. It teaches you to be. to be compassionate to yourself you know talk to yourself as you would talk to your best friend or your lover so yeah um would sit in that in that format and then would talk about would talk about emotions our therapy our therapist would teach us would teach us skills that included self soothing when you yeah. have a panic attack what do you do so yeah this would happen Okay so um a question for the piso Yeah so okay uh would you say spirituality plays any role in the healing process Um spirituality I, from from my experience I think since I started like self healing um I would I would say I'm more spiritual than ever and I can actually it I can balance anything that I learn from therapy or or something that I le- like like I teach for I teach myself in the side via um sp- in 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 a spiritual way so I can say um I have my spiritual awakening has grown aggressively so ever since um I started um self healing so for my side I would say I play a role next time next time going going Okay, with me. Um well, I didn't include my spirituality that much into my mental health because yeah. I realized in order for me to be a spiritual person, I need to make sure that I'm in the correct mental mental state. state. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm able to balance everything, but I don't think it it contributed into the healing process. So, I couldn't be a spiritual person because I wasn't in the correct mental health state but now that i'm in the, the the right mental health state i think i can do anything in all mm-hmm. aspects of life whether emotionally um my academics to 
and my spiritual world too so i'm able to do everything well right. i'm able right. to perform at my ultimate best because i'm in the correct mental health state so when i was depressed i couldn't do anything spiritually even though even though i come from a very spiritual background i i couldn't yeah. i really couldn't do anything spiritually because number one, i am sick i'm mentally sick so i need <laughs> to make sure that i heal myself in that trip yeah that instance in order for me to perform spiritual things so i can't say that it played a role cuz like there's a difference between someone who's spiritually sick and someone who's mentally sick yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah think is. about it yeah, so in order for you to to do anything in order for you to to do anything in life you need to make sure that you are in the correct mental health state that's why it's so important to take care of your mind first yeah first so t- so tebisa so tebisa hope you know first you must take care of, take care of your mind first before anything mm-hmm. else cause yeah so that's what yeah. happens all right well well that's that's the um what else um fuck you know like you know like a question you live is and like well i have a question for you okay <laughs> so you told us that you he survived suicide yeah when was that it was 2018 24 mm-hmm. december yeah 2018 wow. 24 december Did you try to overdose or what happened? Please tell us. <sighs> I know it's a very sad topic to talk about. I don't have <laughs> my uh, No, as a thing, I don't I don't I don't really mind um who are, who are got it, got it in. So like I think I think that's why so this way this way get this way get um I'm I'm healing cuz I'm able to recover especially the suicide part. Cuz yeah. Um So they can they can like the pen killers and can mix the red pills and they don't get chosen come on to I think it's the pen pills some mama got high blood or something you know um so that day as my as much as or are we are we caught like oh, what was this a pain that you feeling at a at a certain moment right so i think lena lena that time what was this like whatever she didn't get feeling at that time but next that be joan next that be how Um, the only way to actually the only way I thought to, I, I, I should end the pain came to suicide like, yes. I, like and, it's not like it's not like I, a lot of people don't understand you know we judge people who commit suicide because we think they are selfish they don't know how to deal with life while in yeah. essence they, it, they don't want to end their lives they just want to end the pain the pain that's all yeah that's I all. understand you can go and, on And, and it's crazy enough because I, I never I, I don't think I had I had any suicidal ideas before prior okay. prior to that prior to that um, um, moment ne? Mm-hmm. so and and something and one thing that happens to your brain is that when almost that stage you you become blank blank as fuck you don't see shit you don't see shit you don't feel shit The whole thing okay, is can you refrain from swearing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. My bad. <laughs> so yeah, so I have a little class <laughs> up. So I I I I I look at that moment in I only I want to for all accept breakthrough and way out. So I only saw a breakthrough and way out. Then Um I think I think it was I think 2 a.m. in the morning or something at night in fact 2 a.m. at night um that's when like I had an anxiety attack before uh, like before that so I couldn't control anything I couldn't breathe I couldn't eat I couldn't like I couldn't do shit so I took those pills and it down then I went to WhatsApp I hold my status I'm like hey like if you see this message it might be the last time what 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 um I went to Twitter um same thing copy and paste from Facebook from WhatsApp to Twitter um then a friend of mine um po um li 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 pule so them and like and that time pule na plomako ko val 
Um, then somehow, I don't know what happened. I just woke up. Um, I don't know how it happened. I just woke up. Um, then, like, I think, like, the like, like, whatever you know, because it's baboni plastic and pills. Then Since 2018. So I think I can I I I I I I I I I I I I I but jump in the water, but can I move to the end? Break my door so that I can go now or bang access and call my parents. Um, with my parents up in factory to part of the check or where's the halang I don't, I don't think if if they were like a minute too late, I don't think they would kill him right now. So that's why I survived. That's how I survived um suicide. In fact, because it was two friends about warning those messages at that time. I, th- I thought that tomorrow was at that time. But guess but tomorrow will come. So, <laughs> so, okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Thanks for sharing your story. Okay, that was hectic. So what happened? Were you hospitalized afterwards? Uh, I, I went to the clinic at the Nibang Koko Tukting. So that what the what the train like um those those pills and everything. Um then yeah, I was better this was better for a day. That's why I get it. Uh, I like I always tell people like or okay, Christmas it's some shit yeah come much a day and calls. Yeah. Um Araja Araja Christmas yeah twenty eighteen um monate. I was two minutes to two minutes to death, two minutes to die. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's when oh. you were diagnosed. I was, no, I was diagnosed. I think around two, two. I think two, three days later that year. Um, that um that time, in fact. So yeah, that's when I was I was diagnosed with clinical depression. Depression. Yeah. Yeah. Known yeah. as um, borderline. No, major depression disorder. Major depression disorder, yeah. Yeah, okay. It's crazy. Yeah, (laughs) it's crazy. It's really crazy. It's sad that it's a good thing that your friends came through for you and they showed you that they love you. I think, yeah, that's how I like, 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 I like, I for you. Power, power, fever. Like it's crazy. Like dude, I like yeah. I my my friends support me like in to a point like make feelings if I get more support from my friends than than Matumbo Chakati. Like that's how I feel like my friends they be one one support and things. So so I shout out to them. In fact, it's nice. That's it's beautiful. nice to have friends like that. It's nice to have friends like that and like power yeah. to them. <laughs> Viva! Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you have a next question uh, for me? Um, the question is, the question is, the question is, but I feel like we covered everything. But, oh, oh yeah, I'm happy. So, you want it somewhere on your Facebook, more you think, I think it's Koti, like, Kupa, 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 Okay. Uh, think, um, I'm a mentally ill person. I decided to be vulnerable to the world. Um, I'm proud of my mental. I'm proud of my illnesses, and I'm ready to embrace every bit of my personality. Yes. Hmm. Yes. So, and 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 so, I'm I'm guessing now you are. Like we had like your your mental illness like out in the public, especially when we look at Facebook. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Everyone knows about it. Everyone who's around me knows that I'm battling yeah. m- mental illnesses, and yeah. I'm so grateful that they don't judge me. The reason why they don't judge me is because I don't look like a mental a mentally ill person. 
Hashtag, I'm sorry, I don't look sick. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about being mentally ill is that you don't look sick. You don't look sick. When people think about mental illness, when you say that you're mentally ill, what they have Manana. in their minds is that... Manana Masaya must start in. Vampire must start in, yeah. And mental yeah. illnesses are so broad. They are, they are so broad. So I just want to normalize... Um, having a mental illness and show the world that you can be mentally ill and perform at your ultimate best. But you can only yeah. do that if you take your prescribed medication and also um, you, do, you do everything that you're taught in, through therapy. So yeah, the reason why I went public with that, I just wanted, I want people to understand that a mentally ill person can look like this. Yeah. Oh, so okay, we we'll, we'll, we'll something. But we we therapy. Like what? Some of the uh, coping mechanisms about we learn to therapy is it meditation, breathing, and what type of meditation is oh, that? It's a lot. It's a lot. So okay. the type of therapy that I went through is called dialectical behavioral therapy. So that type of therapy. Okay. Okay, that type of therapy teaches you to stay in the present moment. Yeah. Okay? It yeah. teaches you about medical acceptance, so it comes in different. It comes in like different pillars. So the yeah. the first pillar they teach you in that type of therapy, they teach you interpersonal effectiveness skills. So what that means is that they teach you skills on how to interact with people, and when you when you're in a fight, how do you react? And yeah, they teach they teach you skills to deal with people. Okay. Effectively, that's the first <laughs> pillar. Yeah. Yeah. The second pillar is emotional um, balance. Yeah. Yeah. Balance your balance, emotion. Yeah. So yeah. that pillar of that pillar is all about teaching you about um, your emotions, learning to identify your emotions, learning to manage your emotions, and there are different type of ways you can do that. You know, I, I mentioned a few like breathing exercises so when you're overly anxious you can just take five minutes aside from your time and do some breathing exercises and yeah you okay, can really yeah. do that when, when you're able to identify the type of things that you go through at that moment so therapy also helped me to be mindful of myself so the only way I'm able to deal with everything in my life is just identifying what's going on. So yeah. I would be in the present moment and just realize, okay, I am sad. So what do we do next? Blah, blah, blah. The rest follows. So yeah, that's what they teach you in therapy. The third thing they teach you in therapy is mindfulness. So mindfulness is also related to meditating. So it's not the religious <clears throat> type of meditation the yeah. one that you see on TV. <laughs> yeah, it's not one of those. It's just yeah. the ability to stay in the present moment non-judgmentally. So that's what I th learned in therapy. That's the, the, the core of that type of therapy. They teach you about being mindful, you know, mindfulness. So, yeah, that's what that type of therapy is all about. So, so, so I'm guessing you can actually uh, recommend people why for therapy, right? Yeah. That type of therapy isn't solely for people who are sick, who yeah. are mentally sick. It's also yeah. for people who struggle, struggle with maintaining relationships. So if you know that um, you don't know how to control your anger, um, you always get into fights, they recommend you to go through that type of therapy. So it's most effective for people with borderline personality disorder only because people with my condition struggle to maintain relationships. So, yeah, um, that's why they prescribed it to me. And also people with PTSD, post-traumatic PTSD. <laughs> post-traumatic yeah, post disorder. Yes, yes, yes. yes that. <laughs> they also recommend that for, for people who are going through that. It just helps you to ground yourself. So yeah. Um, what 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 about what about um cognitive behavioral therapy? Um, also, also, I also, also, to, also, 
Okay. No, I haven't tried that before. Like I just told you, I was recently diagnosed. So currently, right. I'm on DPT, DPT um, dialectical right. therapy, and it's helping me. It's helping me. Right. So with cognitive therapy, it helps you rewire your brain. So uh, I've read about it before. So it helps you rewire your brain. If you're the negative type of person, if you're very negative about it, the world, everything. I recommend I'm not a I'm not a psychologist or or anything but I recommend cognitive therapy because it helps you rewire your your brain. Um people um I'm a, I'm a, I'm a psychologist so I love the cognitive um behavioral therapy. I'm your guy. Okay. I will I can go to you. I will yeah. <laughs> just just do the DMs in the end I will just sort it out. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, all right. So that is dope, man. So, um, are you are you physically active? Like, cause I I I've read uh, like um not not I've read, but I know like physical activity can actually um reduce the risk of having an anxiety attack about twenty six percent, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, you can that's very true. Ne, twenty six percent, right? I don't know the percentage, but I know yeah, yeah, it's, no, it should be know. part of your lifestyle. I know. It should I know, be part I of know. your lifestyle. When you yeah. go to gym, there are yeah. certain hormones that are secreted. Your, your, your endorphins. Yeah. Those are the happy hormones. Endorphins. So I, also, I also go to gym a lot, but now yeah. because of the lockdown, I have gym at home. So yeah, I'm working out, meditating, taking my medication and having a routine help me help me through mentally. Yeah. So yeah, working out is also essential. It should so, be, it should be part of your your healing process. Um it helps like, just to clear up your mind. Like um do you do you do you cover with a halang with your brain um when a person is depressed or when when about to have like an like an anxiety attack or something? I I don't think I understand the question. Like what um, happens with your brain? Yeah, with your, yeah, wow. with your brains and your 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 like your neurotransmitters and everything, your hormones and yeah. Okay, I, like, I, like, I, I said, good I, like I said, I am not a psychologist, so you're the one who can explain <laughs> this to us best. <laughs> okay, so what hap- what happens is that um so depression the dep- depression in the brain is that um. How, when you're about, especially when you're about to have an anxiety attack, that some some parts of your brain or your neurotransmitters, in fact, um, they stop sending messages to um, kind of your kind of kind of getting on this part of your like your old your your okay. hi, hypo 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 something like you. Hypothalamus or something like that. Yeah, like the f- the first part of a brain, like you're not, like you're not responsible for for like for the, the memories and everything and everything. So now, when you're about to have an, an anxiety attack, it shuts down the that part. And, yeah, okay. the neurotransmitters and it op- and so that and when you shut when I I just shut that down, that means your your dopamine um your Neuro, serotonin. neurotonin and serotonin. Serotonin. <laughs> the, serotonin. <laughs> serotonin. Yeah, Diva. Yes. That's why we have imbalance of chemicals. Um, yes. Chemicals in the brain because now they're not balanced. Some some of them are high, some of them are low. And I know it. And I know the, um, ser- uh, kind of again, serotonin is supposed to be high, not low. Yeah, but, it shouldn't be low. It shouldn't be low, right? Yeah, it should be high. Yeah, and that's but why now... I take my medication. That's why I take my medication. It helps okay. increasing my serotonin levels. All right, that's uh, that's dope, man. Yeah. Uh, uh, so onga onga me unka onga like the medications thing because I know I used to take S S S I S S I R serotonin. Yeah. Yeah. S S S I R. Yes. What right. type of those did you take? 
SSIR. So two sagas for to balance like especially serotonin. Um in yeah, order for different types of those pills. The different types yeah. of um antidepressants. So I also take those. But the ones that I'm taking currently are called flo- floxetin. All right. Floxetin. And I also take root stabilizers. They're called Good. um the brand name Ibito uh, Lamotrigine. So yeah, I'm on 40 mg of antidepressants and I'm also on 75. Yeah, 75 mg of mood stabilizers. So yeah, I'm able to look like a normal person, a normal <laughs> person because of those. Oh, uh, that's nice. And you and and you, and you and you and you show like a normal person to me. You can't tell you. I am a normal you. person. Well, yeah, you are a normal person. To restore that. So I am a normal person. So when 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 was the, when was the last time we were doing an episode? A depressive episode. Yeah. Um I think it was last year. It was last year, late last year. From October I was having panic attacks even though I was still in therapy. That's why I mentioned that um healing isn't linear. You go yeah. through bumps and or you go through rock bottoms. So, so yeah, I I went through a depressive depressive episode last year, covering now. So, okay. I'm in a good space thanks to the support that I have from my family and friends. um constantly taking my prescribed medication and taking things that I learned from therapy it's only getting better now so right, yeah yeah but i do get anxious here and there i do get anxious here and there so, so when i'm anxious i'm not i'm currently not taking pills for for my anxiety and i'm anxious which is a normal feeling when you feel anxious i get anxious 10 times anxious than a normal person would so when i get yeah. anxious i i i do the the exercises that i learned in therapy so i do a breathing exercise or touch something to stimulate my senses my five senses just to like bring myself back to the moment back to normal yeah five senses got five senses king touch feel smell yes. hear and what what ne huh. <laughs> what what <laughs> what what kill 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 so um, yeah um, 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 currently, or, 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 or you have to take I mean, I think, omega trees or protein shakes or something no, no I, I'm not really on a diet I'm, yeah. I'm not really on a diet <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm not on a diet are you I was not not anymore. Well, that the guy knows just for, it's for it's just for gym, you know. Um okay. yeah, it's, it's not really because um but I tried to have like good balanced nutritious diet, you know. I don't just chow and um like I, I recently cut cut down on like a lot of things like sugar, mm-hmm. spice, dry, you know. Um, that's those are some of the things that I can cut it down on them. But like now, now I'm just on a normal diet, a diet, diet, diet. Okay. Well, I haven't yeah. been on it on any diet to help with mental illness so far. So yeah, okay. pills and therapy have been my main focus for now. All right, all right, that's it. So um, I mean, I mean, I mean, so do you do you meditate um every like every day, every day? Yeah. I, how important. I, I let me just show you how they look. Yeah. They actually in front of me. So yeah, I take these I take these two two times a day. So Ooh. this is just for tomorrow and Monday. And then I I take also these two times a day. Ooh. And yeah, I also have other pills that help me when I'm overly anxious, when I'm having a panic attack. I'll take these yeah. these purple yeah, these ones. So I don't take them all the time but my daily okay. dose are these two these are daily my daily dose, dose. yeah right. so i take it every day that's my life mm. oh yeah 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 oh, it's a lot too like you know i it really is it i've came it really i like isn't. like i came to a point that i don't know we can't be anymore 
Why? I don't know so because they kid never get next I feel like they didn't need to pack need to pack a lot need to pack a lot ni mo or or something I don't know. I can't. I can't say him. Maybe not. Maybe not. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Um, nah. So you're supposed to take your pills at a certain time. You only yeah. drink them during, not during the day, in the morning. Yeah. So nah, I my brain just tells me that hey, you need to eat breakfast now. It always mm. tells me that you need. <laughs> I, I I don't forget to take my pills. The only time I forget is just when I'm having a lazy day, but then I'd remember that ish man I was supposed to take my pills. So it's I feel like it's my second instinct. It's part of but, my system now. But but and uh, and it's also dangerous to infect all of our tantu unke uno di pills. Right? Um yeah, I guess yeah. so. Yeah. yeah. Shit. But cool. there's the thing about having clinical depression is that you tend to to lose focus a lot you can't concentrate and lose a memory out yeah. some memory in fact yeah yes now that i'm taking my pills it's not happening anymore so i okay. think now memory is like it's on the sharp. it's sharp 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 yeah, sharp because my brain tells me who i need to take my pills at a certain time and it's it's an everyday thing it's my lifestyle now yeah yeah oh and right, that's that's dope too um so so far i think kids are the questions in the thinking out or not so um i i don't know if if people gonna be questioning that or another question for now or something or uh, yeah or the war for them put that in yeah okay someone asked a question but i don't think they're still here it's guysy Um I don't know if it's a he or a she but they asked did you say that you joined therapy too late in your journey Yeah I felt like I I joined therapy too late for na had I oh, had yeah. I joined therapy earlier in my high school days I think I don't think I would have been taking pills right now that's why I get the earlier you get diagnosed the earlier you take your medication the earlier you get therapy the earlier you avoid a lot of things cuz depression and say back in line it always Yeah, but but okay, go to or or we can go study therapy like in high school days, but in in high school, I know that you are young if quite like you actually need therapy or you, you are suffering from any kind of mental um depression or you are depressed or something. That's why Unless, that's why they need Oh, that's why they need more people like you. I don't think I I I come from a very disadvantaged school. So if Nick well, Nicholas was going to Yeah. So if yeah. I went to a good school, if I went to a good school, the teachers would recommend therapy. But now um teachers from my school thought out oh, they're going through a phase. And 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 in disadvantaged schools they don't have psychologists and never matter yeah. because these psychologists don't have jobs. We need more psychologists at schools. You hmm. know. So yeah, hmm. I feel like having psychologists at schools would help with having our earlier generation being diagnosed early yeah. and that just save us a lot of trouble it will, would also save their lives so i think that should be done we should have psychologists at school how much i learn me they should go and see us how about a psychologist not yeah. a teacher they should go and see a psychologist and a psychologist yeah. would help them about on the tsataki in and yeah psychologists also diagnose mental illnesses they have yeah. the right to do it. yeah part of this yeah because because yeah. i know because so because i, I know that be done. that's why i feel if if there was a psychologist that at my school they would have recommended me to see a, a no if there was a psychologist in my school they would have diagnosed me earlier and i would have mm-hmm. gotten help earlier mhm Yeah. All right. All right. Um I think I think that's something the colo especially like public schools and school democracy I think that's something they should actually um by yeah. consider consider it there. Yeah. And I think I think I might I think I might consider being a an ado- adolescent counselor or something like that. Yeah. yeah. That's for the fuck. It's a job creation. The government yeah. should train more people, more people yeah. to lead support groups. You know, exactly. yeah, yeah, there's a lot that should be done. Ah, but okay, that that's that's a topic for 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 another edition. 
Yeah, it is. I know, I know, I know. I've been thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, that's a big point. Yes. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> but I think it's a sponsor too. We're not gonna go WhatsApp, okay? Okay. Yeah. Um, so another question. <laughs> okay, I I didn't see another question. Um. Oh, oh yes, so, Terence is Terence yeah. your friend? Yeah, Terence so is my friend. Was asking about um family family's response when a male is depressed. Yeah, that's true. I think depression for you guys is is just bad because number one, um, the society society already has standards for men that a man shouldn't cry, a man shouldn't feel, and having emotions is just human. When you cry. It's okay to cry because you are a flippant human being. So, yeah, I think it's tough for you guys. But, I, I, I don't know the man, so you but, are no best, and you did uh, explain. Yeah, because uh, like not not only the society, but um, twenty minutes. Not if not only the society, but even even kind of in culture, it says or oh, a man can don't. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't have to cry, or a man can show emotions because that's that's a sign of weakness or whatever the case may be or the reason may be, which is not true, Joe. Yeah, it's uh, not a which fact. Is, yeah, which is not true. So, um, I think if only we can.